When you're in a new space, you need to readjust your lighting and your camera and your desk and your computer and all that kind of stuff. And right now my lights are kind of okay, but I need to somehow get this light behind the camera shining up and that way using this old tripod. I think this is a job for 3D printing. I'm Joel, this is 3D Printing Nerd. Go, go, Prusa i3 Mark II. You know how it goes, you have a, a really cool light like this one, and it lights up nice and bright. And for that, to be able to mount this way, behind the camera, shining, whoa, shining at me. I wanna use this tripod to do that, but there's nothing that mounts this to this, so we had to turn to 3D printing. First, what I did is I made this little prototype in Fusion 360. All I did was use digital calipers to measure this distance on the lights right here. And then I measured the diameter here. And I measured the diameter here. And that gave me all the dimensions I needed for this little piece. So the test was, let's see if it fits. Okay, the piece fits on the lights pretty well. The lights have a little bit of a spring to them because they're plastic. And so you squeeze them and they return. So I figured I could put that on and then the squeezing would allow this to slide on just like that. I don't need it to hold it in place uh, really tight because again, I just want it to kind of hang there, right? Just like that. Okay, and the other part we need to match up on the tripod then is this. So let's see, does this match up? <laughs> it does. And again, it doesn't have to be super tight because it's just going to sit right here and it can rest against this or rest against this or, or just, just like that. There's plenty of options. Okay, so I think we've got what we need. Let's create the final pieces and let's put it all together. All right, here's what I came up with. This this is the piece right here that's gonna go around the tripod. This big piece right here is what two of these are going to be glued onto. And I think it's gonna work here. I'll show you what the sketches look like. So the sketch for this is nothing but uh, <laughs> essentially a boxy shape and almost most of a circle. So what I did is I created an arc, I did an offset, and then I just added some lines here to close it in. And that let me extrude it. So now if I show you the sketch for the other one, you're gonna see something very similar. I just made these arcs here or half circles and then connected with the lines and then I had this here. The reason I have this distance measured at 72.7 millimeters is because I wanted to extract this piece that tall since those pieces are going to mount against it right there. So this piece will mount here and another copy of it will mount right there. Let's save these out as STLs, slice them, send them to the printer, and then let's print them. Go, go, Prusa I3 Mark II. We have our final pieces. Here's these two, they came out really well. And here is this piece. So one of the things I didn't take into consideration was uh, the piece that goes around the tripod when there's not much plastic right there. It has some bendiness to it. This one, uh, it's not as easy to bend. I think I will be able to get it around the tripod, but uh, I haven't done that yet. So we'll see if that works. These actually turned out fantastic. And I can show you on this side, right here and right here. And then this piece can essentially glue to these and then hold it against the tripod. Let's glue it and then let's get it all set up. Lining the pieces up like this ensures that this is perpendicular to this. I love me some 90 degree angles. I, I do gotta tell you, having instant set or insta set along with super glue is fantastic. And if you have this 
you should have this. It makes things go a lot quicker. We've got it together. Let's do a test right here and make sure that this fits around. And it does. Look at that. It does slide and that's okay, remember, because these are gonna be perpendicular and I can balance it. I'm not having to worry about that. Here, here goes the, here goes the main one. Let's see, once I get this on, I don't think it's going to come off easily. Uh, I'm scared to put too much pressure on it. All right, here we go. Yes. All right, it is on. <laughs> Just like that. This might work. I'm gonna go set it up behind the camera and we'll see what happens. There we go. <laughs> Success. All right, here's the test. <laughs> Look at that, nice, bright quality light. This is fantastic. All right, well, thanks to a little bit of prototyping, some digital calipers, some super glue, some Insta set, and a little bit of ingenuity, and about six hours worth of 3D printing, we came up with a solution to mount a light perpendicular to a tripod and it works great. As you can see, I'm bathed in light. I look better. Well, that was kind of neat. Uh, I, I didn't expect to make a video on this. I just needed this done. And then I remembered I'm a content producer and this is very worthy. This is an incredibly practical 3D print. I was almost, uh, I almost felt like I was channeling uh, Bill and Brittany of Punish Props and how when they made their Probius uh, little remote controlled uh, cosplay character. They had to mount something this way to a bar this way and Bill created some 3D printable brackets to mount it. And so uh, thanks for the inspiration, Bill. Um, you continue to inspire me every day. Well, now that I've got a light, let's call it good so that I can get on to filming more content. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not and ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. A big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon and YouTube Red and for letting the ads play. And finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.